Hi guys, welcome to this um, live DVD. I'm making this video after installation of the very, very, very last ISO that we have at this point in time. And we've added a lot of applications to the list of Calamars, like a lot. So if you do an advanced installation, you get lots of choices. If this is all new, new to you guys, please try out the beginner installation first because it has less difficulty, less complexity. So what I've done to this computer, I've installed everything that's new. Well, actually I've installed everything except a few things. I did install Intel U-Code, left all the rest untouched. I did not install any drivers knowing that I don't need any drivers, right? Knowledge is everything. Next, I did install the new guy here, SDDM theme simplicity but I installed them all, right? But just checking, and that's something you can do as well. That's why I make this video as well. From time to time, what do we do? We just install everything. Now, I've done all my tests already in the past for this one, and Qtfish has been tested, so it will get installed. I know that already. So I didn't touch anything here either. Installed all of them. Installed all of them. You guys are Elements, Desktop, Google Chat, Linux, Bin, NeoChat is new, TweetDeck desktop is new, and so on. So from time to time we do our checks because these are some of the applications come from Archlex, no problem, right? Some of the applications come from AOR, no problem either, because I need to build it, right? We need to build it. But sometimes Arch kicks out an application from Arch Linux and it comes in the AUR. So when you click on the application, that's not anymore on the Arch. I don't know anything about it's being kicked out. So it's on the AUR and AUR is actually not a package. It's a package build. You need, you need to build it. Somebody needs to build it for you or you build it with Yay and Peru, Trizen and the likes. So that, that's, that does happen from time to time over four years. We know that Arch does sometimes kick a package out. We think it's still in there and it's not. And then it won't get installed. Obviously, right? Because there is no, let's say, an executable anymore available. So did not change anything here. Uh -huh, fine. Uh -huh. um, some new guys in here. Small things like FileBot is here. And make, 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 make MKV is here. I think the rest is still pretty the same. Internet, did I change anything here? XD man is new. And that's it, I think. I have the feeling there's one more, but I don't see it. Theming, pretty covered, I think. And Blender, all that, okay. Games, or enough games. Terminals, enough terminals. Nothing new except for the packages, new packages for XFC, Terminal and Alacrity. We have over 100 teams for each of them. We're uh, okay for the next years. And then um, that's it. Okay, nothing there either. This is a new bit here for Snap and Rollback is new. All the stuff for Android is new. The stuff for iOS is new. Stuff about benchmarking we were using, but was, well, you needed to install it afterwards right but now you can select it as well app image launcher is there tried it a few times the um, successor of another application that i forgot is now here uh, bash top i think it is called it used to be called and it's now b pi top mm. now what i do is and what this is the, th the same thing you can do is take a look sometimes people say we selected this and this and that and was not installed right this is what you can do you launcher is new i'm gonna do and check is everything installed and how do you do that vmware is new vmware station installed as well flame shot was installed and that's it so i installed everything now, when I reboot, I can't, I can't reboot because then the video is finished here. But uh, what I can do already in the live environment, and that's what I do, like I said, 
from time to time we check if Arch kicked something out, right? So a uh, super shift enter file system on this live DVD, but also on your future system, there's going to be a var, a log, and Calamares. Okay, my system, I, I'm afraid I need to reboot. I'm afraid I need to re reboot. Um, the log is not written here. It's not in the temp either. Can I show it to you guys? Because this is empty and that's all empty. I don't have to try that. So I'm afraid, I'm afraid the only way to show it on the live DVD is go to the file system, right mouse click, open folder as root, go inside root, control H, go inside cache, go inside Calamars, go inside the session log. All right. So remember in the var log, you'll find the Calamars log, the one I'm opening right now, which I'm opening with the wrong application, which takes a while and supply and text will be faster. Voila. So what I do is console find, I think it's called exit, there it is, code, code, no space, colon one, I think. Every time there is a code one, it means that there's an error, but not all errors are um, wrong, right? Because sometimes, well, it's the way Calamaris is built, it's created not for Arch Linux, it's created for Linux, right? So sometimes we have to make these adjustion, adjustments to ensure that the Arch Linux is installed as it would be installed from the Arch Linux ISO, the Arch Linux way. So there's some workarounds. So this is okay, find. Dracuts, we don't install it, that's for other, um, I believe it was Blob, Susan. If I remember correctly, which limit I don't like it either. And there you go. Is this it? Wow, this is a great check, right? Because last time when I did the check, there was this application that was not there because it needed a, a dependency, and then I created the package on the repo, and then everything works again. So basically, this is a super, super result. You may think you have three errors, Eric, but it's not. <laughs> there, it's intentional, those guys. So I'll just boot up and um, upload the video now and then we'll see have a look at all the software that's installed on our system. All right, cheers.